Hey everybody, Coach Shelly here to talk to you a little bit about the kettlebell swing. Kettlebells are awesome pieces of equipment. If you have one, you can do so much with it. But today we're gonna focus on the swing. Um, you can also use dumbbells. You can even use a weighted backpack. I will demonstrate with the dumbbell as well as kettlebell. So basically, when you begin a swing with a kettlebell, your feet are going to be under your hips, maybe shoulder width apart. The big thing that happens with the swing is the hip hinge. You want to hinge and stand up. So basically, your bottom, you want to think like it could maybe set on the wall. And the kettlebell is going to swing between your legs. And as you come up, you're going to really load your hips and load load with the kettlebell and pop, slingshot that kettlebell up and bring it to eye level. Back down, pop it back up. One thing that happens a lot is people tend to squat, especially if they're training squats and things like that. Like they let their knees track out over their toes. On the swing, the knees stay behind the toes and you should feel a nice stretch through your glutes and your hammies. So let me grab one here. This is a 26 pounder. If you've never swung before, obviously this is a beginner video, you would wanna start really light just to get the proper movement. Start with the kettlebell out about 10 inches from your feet, nice flat back. I'm gonna pick it up and it's going to pendulum in to, toward my body. Do you see that? Just picked it up, I stood up and it automatically is loaded in my hips. My arms are like ropes. My hips are doing all the work. Big hip explosion and knee straightening. Keeping knees behind the toes. Now, your glutes and your legs are very strong and you can generally swing heavy weight, but until you get a nice smooth swing down, don't go up in weight. I'm gonna demonstrate with a dumbbell. Now, the proper way to swing this is to hold on to the handle, but for me, it just you know makes the dumbbell very short and it's very close to my body and it's very hard to swing. So I, I hang on to the head of the dumbbell. So I grab it here, just like I would my kettlebell, stand up. You're also gonna have a nice midfoot balance here. I'll turn forward a little bit so you can kind of see what's happening with my feet. Um, you don't want to rock back into your heels. You don't want to rock back up on your toes. You want to have a nice baby toe, big toe, heel, uh, tripod balance within your foot. You, you want everything to be working. You don't want one to be more, um, more weight in the heels or more weight in the toes at any point. Try to keep a nice midfoot balance. These are great for building strength as well as cardio and endurance. Um, they're also pretty much risk-free of, of injury unless you're moving incorrectly. So videotape yourself doing it. Um, look, uh, look at yourself, critique yourself. Make sure that the back is nice and flat as you're coming through your swing. Open those hips and you're stopping here, just letting the arms rise. Don't arch into it and put all that weight in your back. So keep that nice hollow body as you swing through, squeeze your glutes, extend through those shoulders, keeping that rib cage tucked into your waistband. Have fun, share some videos with me if you want to at Shelly, S-H-E-L-L-I-E at EddingtonFamilyFitness.com, one D in Eddington there. <laughs> and be sure to subscribe to the page for more fun stuff.